Welcome to this video. Today I'm going to walk you through how to test the integrity and authenticity of your Linux Mint ISO download. You want to be sure to do this just to make sure that it is not a malicious download. To get started, I'm here on linuxmint.com and I'm going over here to downloads. I'm just going to click on Linux Mint. And then if I scroll down, I'm just going to be using the Cinnamon Edition. So I'm going to click on download. And then if we scroll down again right here, you will see the prompt slash warning to test the integrity and authenticity of your download. And so the first thing we want to do is go ahead and grab our download and I'm just going to grab it from Harvard School. Once the download is ready, go ahead and go back up and we're just going to come over here and right click on this button and click on save link as. Do not change the file name, just click save. Same thing for the second button, just right click, save link as. Do not touch the name, just click save. Wait until both have fully downloaded. Once completed, you should have these three files. And I do just for simplicity recommend just selecting all three of them and moving them to your desktop. Now, if you want to see the written steps that we're going to go through, you can click on verify and then scroll down just a little bit. And you'll notice this hint. We are on Windows, so we want to use this tutorial. We'll go ahead and open it. Scrolling down, we've already completed step one. So on to step two, let's go ahead and open up this link. Scroll down until you see where it says binary releases. We are on Windows. We just need the simple version. So go ahead and click on download. Run the download. Go ahead and install. Next, you will want to open up a notepad or Excel sheet or Word document, something where you can record the keys that we're going to compare. So I'm just going to go ahead and open up notepad and then I'm going to minimize it. Now we need to first get the key from the text file. So that's this file right here. Just go ahead and double click to open it. And you want to look for the key for the version or edition that you downloaded, which we did this one right here. So we're just going to copy it and then close this window and then open up your blank notepad, Excel sheet, wherever you're recording it, just go ahead and paste it in and then minimize while holding down the shift button, right click on your desktop. If you're on Windows 11, you'll need to click on show more options and look for where it says open PowerShell window here. Now the command we need is back here in the instructions underneath integrity check right here is the command we need to use capital C E R T capital U T I L space dash hash file space, put a period slash copy the ISO name by right clicking, copy, right click twice to paste dot ISO space capital S H A two five six, and then hit enter command was completed successfully, but we do want to copy the key, open up where you saved the text file key and compare it to the one from the PowerShell, make sure they are exactly the same. If they are the same, then it passes the integrity check. Now, if we scroll down further on our instructions, next is the authenticity check. Please note that you will want to use this command line right here. Just copy it exactly and paste it in. However, if it fails, you may need to try one of these other two. I'm going to copy this first one, paste it in, hit enter. Go back to the instructions and underneath step two, copy the next command, paste it in, hit enter. And then what you're looking for is right here where it says good signature from Linux Mint ISO signing key. Please note that this warning is normal and expected. Please note the fingerprint key listed right here should match the key from the first command. If all of that checks out at this point, you should be good and ready to use that ISO file. But if you do have any comments or questions, please post them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. And if you would like to support the channel, go ahead and hit that join button the subscribe button, and that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.